What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now what I'm looking at right now is lots of different keywords and how I'm tracking them. Now this is a keyword tool that I'm using in order to get traffic to my website and this is the same method that we're going to be talking about Bing ads and keywords and how they all fit in into CPA marketing. So me I've been doing keyword based stuff whether it's free traffic or buyers traffic for many many years okay so I have a lot of experience I understand how this works and this is something we're going to be covering in this video so that you have a good picture of how this keyword based ads or free traffic doesn't really matter but if you're going to be using Bing ads this is something you have to understand and so I track a lot of keywords on a daily basis this is actually free traffic I also have paid campaigns that I run to so I have a lot of experience when it comes to keywords and what we're going to be talking about is how you can use Bing ads with CPA affiliate marketing, right? We're going to talk about what kind of offers you can promote. We're going to talk about what you should do, what you shouldn't do, the best practices, right? Over years and years of experience so that you're not making mistakes that have plagued other people. And that's so that you can hit the ground running and start making money. And so this is very, very important for you to understand. And this is something we're going to be covering today. All right. So first of all, you really need to understand this diagram that we're looking at. Okay. And, you know, I call this the buyer's journey. Okay. You can call it what you like, but for me, it kind of clicks right, by calling it the buyer's journey. Okay. And so the way this works is that we have different stages. Okay. The first stage is no notion of a problem. So I don't even know. Let's say I want to buy something, right? Marketing is all about buying something. It's all about solving a problem. People are not thinking in terms of products and services. They're thinking in terms of solutions to their problems. I don't care what your product is called. All I care about is how it's going to solve my problem and help me out. And so this is kind of what it's all about, right? So the first stage is we have no notion of a problem. I don't even have a problem okay so I'm like really in the beginning the next stage is informational okay and this is where I'm beginning to research solutions to a specific problem I may have or I'm thinking about of having or I'm at a stage where I'm not even sure I have okay the next stage is commercial and this is where I have an idea of products and services that are available and I'm basically going out and comparing those products and services, right? So there's a huge difference between informational and commercial. And the last but not least, this is probably the most important one and not really for us, which I'm going to explain to you in a second, but this is important. This is transactional and this is where somebody is ready to buy a product or service. They're basically researching the best place to buy it. And so it's online store or physical store, right? So maybe I want to buy a new iPhone. I can order it online or I can find a, a physical store around the corner from where I'm living so I can go out and buy it, right? And so it doesn't really matter where they buy it, but this is kind of the last stage. And so now that you understand how this all flows, you really have to understand where does Facebook, Google ads and other, you know, these services, these advertising networks really come in, okay? And so this, this whole flow is going to be like this forever, right? This is how it works. These services, they kind of come and go, right? You know, 10, 20 years ago, we didn't have Facebook. Then Facebook arrived. Same thing with Bing ads, you know, like 20 years ago, we might not have Bing ads, you know, Microsoft ads, Google ads. And now they came and they basically fill a certain need, right? They exist in a, in a certain area. Facebook happens to be informational, okay? I cannot really, I mean, I could re kind of advertise, you know, a product or service only if that person has interest, but really it's more informational. It's kind of like here and here, right? In fact, I can even cut, put it here. Bing ads, Microsoft ads, which is what they're calling it now, is all about commercial intent. I mean, it kind of works with informational, but it works a lot better with commercial intent. So in a way, it's more powerful. It really depends what you're looking at. My, uh, Facebook is really good because it comes in and, and people are made aware of the problem they might not even know they have, right? Because I could be browsing the Facebook newsfeed and then basically see a cool product. And I'm like, wait a second, I can actually use this product. This is a cool product. You cannot do that with Bing ads, okay? Bing ads, it has to be something that somebody already knows. So for instance, if I want to buy, you know, like a, like a voice recorder, right? 
you know, Facebook might, you know, they might show me some voice recorders or some, you know, cool gadgets. But let's say I want a specific voice recorder. I know exactly what I want. Facebook is not going to help me. This is where Bing ads really comes into the picture, okay? Because it's all about commercial intent. I know the product that I want. I'm still comparing, right? I'm not at this stage yet. I'm still comparing because I haven't settled on that specific brand and model, right? But I know I, know I need that product, so I haven't decided. There's a lot of products that exist in that market segment that are targeting people like me, but I haven't decided on the product, okay? And so this is very important to understand. And so the thing about Max Bounty, and this is very crucial for you to understand, is that Max Bounty has a lot of offers. And this is why I love CPA marketing. I love Max Bounty. Because regardless of what you're trying to do, you will be able to find the offer that really suits well for what you're trying to do. And so what I want to talk a little bit about now is what kind of offers you can promote using Bing ads and how you can promote that, okay? And this is why I want this video to be different than countless of other videos that you've probably seen because all they do is just follow a, a simple step. They just follow a predictable path. But I really want to like, I want to teach you how to fish, right? I want to explain to you how this works. And so with Max Bounty, you can really go into different categories here. And let's say we go into um, sweepstakes, for instance, right? We're going to go into sweepstakes. Sweepstakes are great, but you cannot promote them using Bing ads. Why can't you promote them? Well, the first, there's a couple of factors, and this is very important for you to understand because it's going to save you a lot of money. The first factor is that you cannot explain these offers using keywords, or at least in a very competitive way. And so what I mean by that is this is iPhone 11 Pro Max. You cannot really bid on iPhone 11, okay? It's way, way too competitive, okay? And so you can bid, right? Let's say you're, you're bidding. Let's say it's going to cost you $5, $10 per click. Well, guess what? They're only giving out 160 per lead, okay? So it's for two reasons that you cannot use something like Bing ads with things like sweepstakes. And this is just an example. There's a lot of other ones uh, that really kind of uh, come close to this, right? You know, there's sweepstakes, surveys, email submits. So anytime you have a CPA rate that I would say like less than $20, you really cannot, it's not going to be economical for you to promote it using Bing as or Google as or any of these keywords. And the, the reason for that is, well, sweepstakes in general is that you cannot really describe it using keywords. Okay, so for instance, iPhone 11, iPhone X, iPhone 10, uh, cinema, gift card, all of these are just going to be too competitive. So it's not going to be economically viable for you. Because if you, if you need to pay, you know, three, four, five dollars for each click, and they're only giving you 240 per lead or you know, $5 per lead or $6 per lead. That means if, if you're paying $3 per click and you're getting seven per lead, it means you, you, need, you need to have basically 50% conversion rate. And you know, that's just not realistic, right? It's just a very rare situation you're gonna have. And if, in, if you have a 50% conversion rate, you're just gonna be breaking even, okay? You're gonna be breaking even. And we don't wanna just break even, right? We want things to be economically viable for us. So you cannot even do sweepstakes, you cannot do surveys, you cannot do email submits, you cannot do zip submits, you cannot do any of that. Even if they give you, you know, like, like 16 per lead, you, it's just not going to be economically viable, right? And so what you can do, right, and, you know, this is kind of very important, is that obviously you can build a funnel, you can capture the email address, and then you can, you can use uh, Bing ads for lead generation, right? You can, you can have a funnel, and this is something I talked about in some of the other videos that I'm going to link to above so that you understand this better, right? If you want to buy traffic for Bing and you're bidding $2, $3 per click or $5 per click, you need to make sure you're going to be able to extract some money from this user. And, you know, if you're sending that user automatically somewhere and the chance, you're basically, there's a chance of you making like $2 per uh, a sweepstakes or something like that, it's just not going to be economically viable. And so what you should be looking at when you're promoting things like Bing ads and Google ads and you're bidding for keywords is you want a high payout, but you also want products. You want commercial stuff in there. You don't want, you know, win sweeps, sweepstakes. Sweepstakes are not commercial intent, right? The people that go on there, right? Remember our diagram here. P the people that are going over there, they're basically at the first stage. They are, you know, if you're promoting sweepstakes, they don't have a problem, right? They're, they're not looking for a solution. It's, it's the wrong, 
it's the wrong it's the right solution for the wrong problem or however you call it or the wrong solution for the right problem the purpose is the per the people that you're targeting for sweepstakes or this pure cpa marketing offers of, of like less than five dollars they don't have a problem right so they're not commercially viable right they're not gonna buy your product it's like the other day i was walking around my city and i realized i need to buy a new voice recorder right and i've done my research i know that i have a problem i know i need it for a couple of new projects that i'm working on and i came into the store i asked them a couple of questions and then i bought it right on the spot and this i was basically i was at this stage and these are the kinds of people you need to be catching with keywords okay and so even if you can create a campaign and you know they have the right keywords and everything like that if these people they don't have a problem they're not gonna buy it it's not gonna be economically viable for you okay and so what you need to be thinking about is people that have a problem and they're looking at different products and they have a problem and they're aware of products that exist right they need to match those both conditions and that is where you know you can really make Bing ads really scale and work really well for you so let me show you what I mean so what you want to be doing when you're doing CPA marketing is you want to be basically looking at categories with that are selling real product products okay so Clickbank is really great for that right because their reviews and their products and people are aware of that because there's traffic on Google for those reviews for those products okay but we're not talking about that we're here to talk about Max Bounty so e-commerce is one category but it's not the only one I'm going to show you more categories we're going to go into e-commerce and what you want to do right you want to look at things that already have a certain kind of brand rec brand recognition okay so let's let's um let's scroll down I'm basically looking so there's a this is a CPS cost per sale McAfee right McAfee they're paying you 28 per lead it's 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 not bad but McAfee they're probably not going to allow you to bid on these branded keywords okay and so you want to scroll down you're looking at for brands smartwatch right here's one but smartwatch is going to be way way too competitive right and so you want to kind of look around what you can do is you can type e-com and you're basically looking at pure e-com products okay so these are really ideal and I'm going to explain to you why they're ideal they're ideal because they have the name of the product and these names are people are searching for these things like Wi-Fi booster anti-snoring septum there are people searching for this right because if I go into Google and I type anti-snoring septum their search is already right so people are if they're searching for these keywords they're the commercial or transaction end right they're like they're right here and the further you are to the end of this funnel the more valuable you are as a customer and that's why you know you don't want to bid for keywords that are like five dollars or three dollars per click just to catch people that have no idea they even have a problem because you'll have to spend a lot of time convincing them right you don't want to spend convincing them uh, because you, it's time and it's money and things like that that's why you want Bing ads you want Google they you want them to do the work for you and that's what commercial and transactional intent is all about and this is the key here right and so you want to be catching people here and you want to be catching people that are searching for these things and so anti-snoring septum right I can basically you know these are all products right and I, look I have a bunch of ads here as well right and they're advertising to me because they realize that I'm almost ready to buy honestly I have no idea what anti-snoring septum even is okay I don't have I don't have this kind of problem I, so I'm not even at the end of this funnel so if I click right now I'm like a really really bad customer for this site because I click they're paying like I don't know three dollars per click or whatever and I'm not gonna do anything so they just you know they just spend three dollars for nothing right so it's good right because if I'm not searching for this term they're not gonna be displaying ads they only want to display these ads to very qualified people and so let's go back into Max Bounty and I'll show you what else you can do so all of these are legit right anti-snoring septum is really good they're paying 34 the more they're paying the more leeway you have the more room you have to become profitable and scale the campaign okay so I'm looking at $50 per lead mobile phone sterilizer okay it's specific enough but yet it's good enough that you can bid on it because I can type the same thing right I can basically go into Google mobile phone sterilizer I had no idea what that even is 
Honestly, I never even heard about it. But apparently it's a device that you put your, your mobile phone and it sterilizes using UV radiation, which is pretty cool, but I had no idea, right? I didn't even know that I need to sterilize. Like I'm not even at the beginning stage yet, right? I'm here, I have no notion of a problem. I don't even think I have a problem. I never sterilize my phone. But there are people that do, right? And this is the beauty of marketing, is that you can reach new people. Okay, so if we go back to Max Bounty, there's a lot of very cool products. Now we can also go into downloads, okay? We can go into downloads and we could take a look at the category there. Let's clear our search box here and we can take a look. So downloads, what I'm looking at is high CPA rate, right? Because I want basically, I want people to pay me, I want Max Bounty to pay me for a sale. Okay, that way I have enough money and then I can basically, uh, you know, scale it. I can buy my keywords and I'm not sitting there nervous uh, at the Bing as dashboard and just looking at all these people clicking on the ads and I'm like, okay, you know, the keyword is $5 per click and the bounty is $10 per click. Okay, two people click, nobody bought, that's it. The next click, I'm, I'm lost, I'm at a loss, right? I'm losing money already. So I want the highest bounty, 40 per lead, right? Thor antivirus. We have, well, let's see, we have VPN city, right? 32 per lead, this, this is VPN. You can, you can do VPN review. Uh, you, can, you can bid for keywords having to do with this and let's actually open it and see if they allow us to, to bid for branded keywords. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And so I'm approved already, which you should be too. And so what are they saying? Blocked countries, this, geo-targeting, et cetera, et cetera. What are they saying? They're not saying anything about not, they're allowing search and they're not basically even saying, uh, you know, that we cannot bid on branded keywords. And this is perfect. Actually, no, they are saying it, right? So I'm looking at this, they're saying no brand bidding on VPN City, VPN City. So you can bid on something similar, right? VPN client, VPN something else, some synonyms, right? You can actually go into Google and type something like VPN City, okay, extension, and I can type this in and it's gonna tell me some of the other, how to cancel VPN for Chrome, okay? So I can learn about this product and I can see, okay, is, does this work with Chrome? And then I can bid for a VPN for Chrome, right? And so I can even click here and they're telling me VPN for Chrome and I can do this. And maybe I'm gonna have, you know, there's some ads that are gonna pop up. Maybe I can use that, those keywords to bid for this, right? But most of the time, and you have to kind of take a closer look, they don't want you to bid for this because they don't want the extra competition because they're probably bidding it on themselves or they're only allowing maybe select affiliates to bid on these keywords. They don't, they don't want everybody because it's just gonna bring the prices up. And so here you are, this is something you can, you can bid on, right? The other thing that you can bid on is basically like Forex, Forex VPS, online streamer, right? All of these, right, they're like 30 per lead, 32. There's also software, which is kind of why I went there. Gemini too, only $8 per lead and so, you know, this is a tough one, right? It's gonna be kind of hard to break even, I would say, right? Unless you're building a buyer's list, right? Unless you're also building a list, then you can build it. But if you don't wanna do all that crazy stuff, you don't wanna build the list or anything, then you really kind of have to go and bid for the highest ones, right? Let's, let's go back to Max Bounty and let's just clear everything and look, let's look at the offers with the highest payout, okay? So these are crazy offers, right? Bitcoin, you know, this is gonna be, yeah, you can probably bid on it, but it's gonna be very hard to make money with this kind of offers, right? Because uh, you really have to understand how Bitcoin works, right? So I do not recommend getting into markets that are very general and broad. Bitcoin is a relatively general and a broad market. You wanna go something deeper, and that's why e-commerce is great, because they have these weird gadgets, like anti-sleep septum, whatever that is, that I don't know what's it about, but somebody does. Whereas Bitcoin, everybody knows what Bitcoin is. And so, you know, the, it's not gonna be competitive. It's not gonna be economical for you to bid on something like this. Pet plants, 10% off. Look at this, 233. This is something I don't know about. You wanna be looking for these niche offers that people could be searching about, right? And they're niche, so they're not general. So that means it's not gonna be sky high rates. Because Bitcoin, I mean, what are you gonna create a campaign around? Bitcoin, I don't know. Whereas something like pet plans, I don't even know what this is. Cash cabin, I don't know what that is. Fast loans, okay, that makes sense. Um, they have a lot of these spiritual. Kasamba, 
Okay, a hundred per lead. What's Kasamba? Let's 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 see what we can do. Kasamba. Okay, Kasamba. Psychic chat with live psychics. Okay, they're bidding on their own keywords here. And I'm seeing one ad. You might be seeing multiple ads. It depends on lots of different factors. I'm only seeing one ad. And let's open that campaign. They're paying 120, right? 100 per lead, excuse me. So we can open that up and we can, we can take a look what's happening here. And so what are they saying? No direct linking, case by case basis, search publishers. Um, they're not saying anything about not bidding on keywords. Okay, they're, oh, okay. they're not allowing search. They're not allowing search here. And so they want search publisher which will be approved on a case by case basis only, no direct linking allowed. So you have to kind of take a look see what they're all about. If they don't allow you to bid on Kasamba, you will probably be able to bid on something like this. Okay, and this is an interesting niche. I never even heard about it. And I always go for these special niches that, you know, that, you know, not a very general, like something I don't know about. I know about Bitcoin. Everybody knows about Bitcoin. You go on the street, you know, eight out of 10, you know, younger people or like, you know, anybody maybe under 40, under 50 is gonna know what Bitcoin is or probably a lot of people are gonna know like on the street of New York, right? You know, 90% of the people are gonna know what Bitcoin is. Kasamba, spiritual consultant, I can kind of guess, but I have no idea because this is a new market to me. And so this is something might be interesting, right? Registration plus paid session within 60 days. They give you a 60 day cookie and you're getting 100 per lead. So here you go, something interesting, right? They don't allow all of this, but you can do display and native, but that's, that's a topic for another day, all right? So. That is what I wanted kind of to talk about, right? I wanted to get in, you know, to give you kind of the game plan, the blueprint for Bing ads. I don't want to really just walk you through the process that, you know, lots of other people have done. I've also done that. I wanted to kind of get inside your head so that you start from, you know, the right foot, so that you start from the right approach. All right, guys. So I really, really hope you found this video valuable. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know. Let me know what's going on. Leave a comment. Ask anything always happy or just, you know, tell me how's your, how's your day going. I always happy to hear from you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Other than that, I really, really hope you've gotten value from this video when it came to Bing ads and you'll be able to utilize it to its full potential. Also, if you want to promote a certain offer or a vertical, leave your question below. I would be happy to take a look and answer it. I typically answer all questions, but the sooner you leave, your question or comment, the quicker I will get to it. I basically answer everything within, you know, 12 hours of the video going, going live. Later on, it takes, it's a little bit harder because the questions, they get lost. But if you have any questions or anything, leave it below. And again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next.